Chester, introduce us, dude. What? Introduce us. I don't want. I don't want to do it today. I'll do it tomorrow. You don't you guys. do it. You don't do it any days. I did it. I did it yesterday. I gotta go. He always just like books on us. Yeah, he's uh, getting better though. I mean, he. How? He does it. Well, he does it. Sometimes. Sometimes. He's supposed to do it every day. Well, some things are tough to do every day. Some things are very easy to do every day, like making love. Yeah, like uh, taking interviews. <laughs> Hey everybody, how you doing today? Today we have a really cool interview. Yeah, we're going to be talking to Dr. Arm, Shoulder, Shoes and Shorts, and he's a famous German uh, philosopher. Yeah, this... What, what are those? I don't know, what is that? Um, hey babes, this is Dirk Steiner upstairs. Sorry for cutting in, but I have to have a word with you. First of all, Shoes and Shorts was not approved by us. Well, I just thought it'd be cool... Um, uh, hey, cool could... hey, 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 cool does not appeal to our demographic. We need edgy. Well, what if we beat him up? Listen, guys, we're still not even convinced that you should be on the air. So we're going to make a few minor changes to improve your marketability. Oh, man. First off, our test audience said they'd like the show a little bit more if Syphil had a beard. What? Whoa, nice beard, dude. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, and for you, Ollie, 13-year-old girls between the heights of 5'4 and 5'6 whose parents work at MTV said they'd like Ollie more if you looked like a member of Hanson. Oh, dude, I hate oh, Hanson, man. man. This sucks. Look at you. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. Our test audience said they'd like the show more if you guys were just better looking in general. Whoa. What? Oh, man, what are you doing to us? Oh, look at that. The graph just went up, guys. Who knows, TV baby? I do, I do. Hey, um, look, man, this is our show. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's still your show, guys. You're just edgy now. Okay. Oh, man. Well, our test audience said that they'd like you better if you were a burning seal. What? You, you can't do this to me. <laughs> yeah, we can. And you know what else they said? They said they'd like you better if you were... Two burning seals. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do this to me. I own you, yeah, boys. Yeah, we can. See, dude, our yeah. graphs are going up. Our graphs just went through the roofs, dude. Why, you little... I uh, own you guys. Dude, you still, you're still in charge. You're just edgy now. Hey, uh, later, dude. <sighs> Feel better? I'm still a plastic dude. What did they do? What fashion designer moonlights as a frontman for a popular heavy metal band? Think about it, folks. Find out in just a minute. <laughs> Today, Today we're going to sing a song, song about, about dudes chicks and dogs. dogs. <laughs> no, no, we're going to sing a song about and cars cats. and trucks. No, wait. <laughs> I'm going to sing a song, song about, about cats and speaks. dudes. No, let's no, sing monkeys. about monkeys. Okay, that's okay. Right. <laughs> monkeys, right, we'll so sing about monkeys. <laughs> dogs and cats. And dudes and chicks. Chicks and dudes and trucks Car and cars. All right, ready? And 10 speeds. And 10 speeds. Okay, ready? No, I'm not ready at all for this. This song's for all the trucks and the cars in the universe. In the universe. In the universe. And this song's for all the trucks and the cars in the universe. In the universe, USA. And this song's Four little boys with plastic blue jackets on ten speeds. And this song for all the dogs and the cats in the universe, in the universe, in the universe. And this song for all the dogs and the cats in the universe, in the universe, USA. And I sing this song for evil gray monkeys that haunt me. And this song for all the chicks and the dudes in the universe, in the universe, in the universe. And this song's for all the chicks and the dudes in the universe, in the universe, USA. And this song's for going out, but coming home in someone else's undies. The 
answer, of course, Tommy Hilfiger. He's actually James Hetfield of Metallica. No, he isn't. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Coming up after the break. Look at your dad's brain. You want, you Look want... at it. <laughs> I keep, I keep having, having dreams that my teeth are falling out every night. Really? Yeah. And Did it's you like, look in the dream book? I have one of those dream books. They have something to do with money. Really? Yeah. And it's so like, whenever I dream my teeth, it's almost like if you took sugar, can like sugar glass, like really easily breaking sugar glass. Sugar glass? glass? What's sugar glass? Sugar glass is what those bottles and... TV shows are made out of. Oh, yeah, okay, they yeah. They break over each other's heads. Sure. It, like, breaks really easily. My teeth are made out of sugar glass, and when I just push my tongue on my teeth, all my teeth break out, and I have, my whole mouth is filled with little shards of teeth, and I just feel like, and then when I close my mouth, all my teeth shatter. Mm. We better go to Precious Roy, because we've been on the air. Oh. Hi, folks, and welcome to the Precious Roy Home Shopping Network. We're Sifflinolli of the Sifflinolli Show. Hi. And we're the spokesman for this quality line of products. Now, if you're like me, friends, you don't just want to see your friends each night. You actually want to dissect them into millions of thin slices. Am I right? Yeah, you want to see the whole <laughs> body. But you can't do that, folks, can you? No, I guess we can't, really. No, that's crazy talk. <laughs> hey, are you all there? If you dissect your friends, you're going to have a real problem on your hands. Oh, you know the problem I've been having with my hands. You've got a serious ass hand problem. Now, friends, I know you're probably wondering, is this like the x-ray glasses? No, it isn't. It's the Precious Roy Cat Scan glasses. So this isn't out of the back of a comic book? No, that's comic book stuff, folks. Okay. Folks, look at your dad's brain. You know, look at your dad's brain. You want, you look want, at it. You want me to finish this up for you? <laughs> Who needs a doctor? I don't, because you know what? I got the okay, precious boy cat stand glasses. Man, you've got to relax. Uh, let me take the, let me take the calls. I think. Don't you want to hear about these products? You don't even get it. Don't you want to? Let's hear from a caller. Oh, uh, you're on the air. Yeah, wow. These CAT scan glasses are really great at bars, man. Really? Yeah, wow. It saved me last night, you know. I scanned the girl I was hitting on, and uh -huh. I realized that she was a man. No way. Well, it saved me from making that mistake again. Incredible. Let's, Let's go back to the phones for more good stories. Well, get a load of this. My kids, they, they took ours, and, and they opened up a CAT scan stand right in front of our house. Wow. And, yeah, and uh, they made $80,000 in just one day. Just one day, folks, $80,000. It's a money maker. You're a doctor now, folks. You're a doctor. No education. You can see inside of people's bodies. $80,000 in the front yard. It's incredible, isn't it? So well, let's talk to Precious Roy and find out more. This is Precious Roy, and you guys got cat on my part cheesy board. No, Precious Roy, it's the cat scan uh, glasses, goggles. Get me out of this prison. Suckers! Precious Roy, Precious Roy, making lots of suckers out of girls and boys. Good evening and welcome to the news. And now with a weather report from our weather correspondent. Hello there, and now the weather. Hey, where's Today Anita? We are oh, fired her. What? She's gone. She's gone. She wasn't Why professional. Why did she do that? Because. You just did that because she liked because I slept with her and she liked me. Yeah. You're just jealous. No. And Listen, now here's your weather, weather. right there. Today no. is going you just to you just fired her because I slept with her. Sunny. Yeah. I'm gonna sleep with the robot tonight, yeah. and then you have to fire him too. Okay. Knock yourself out. I love you, Ollie. Good night, folks, and thank you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We're gonna to talk to Chester now. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, Chester. Do you like um? Do you like bubbles? Why? I don't know. Do you like bubbles? Of course, I like bubbles. I told you about that question. No, you didn't. I told you about the thing when I'm, about how when I'm by myself and I have what? bubbles. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? You know the bus. 
the bus ride. The kids in the bus. You never told you that story. Bus? They blew bubbles. No. <laughs> yes, Wait, why? I want to get some. Do, can we get some bubbles in here? I gotta see what happens. <laughs> yeah. no, don't, don't do it. <laughs> Jeez. Chester. Get the bubbles, Chester. Get them. Get them. Okay. Get, get the bubbles, Chester. You missed one. You missed one. It's coming to get you. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Get me out what does the Wu-Tang Clan have in common with the Grateful Dead and Bjork? Find out in just a minute. <laughs> Coming up after the break. <clears throat> that was so real life. Dude, Next. You're stupid. All right. What does the Wu-Tang Clan, the Grateful Dead, and Bjork have in common? Nothing! Don't compare Bjork to anyone! She is off limits. No linking her, no comparing Bjork. Okay, okay. So when we open the casket, there's this note Wait, in its hand. Did you open the casket um, before they drank the potions? Yeah, we did, actually. That's the first mistake. I know, but well, especially because... When we open the casket, mm -hmm. there's a rolled up note in his hand. Yeah. It just says, drinketh the potion first, my everlasting. Right. That's how you know that, uh, that's the trap right there. It's like the choose your own. You if, if he, uh, you need to drink the potion because you see the potion when you walk in. So you drink the potion. Yeah. Don't wait till the dead guy tells gives you, you a note. gives you a note saying, Drink we had a hard time now. opening the coffin too. Well, the potion. Oh, we we got We got to go to an interview, folks. Hold on. <laughs> Woohoo! It's it's interview time. <laughs> yeah, I like me some interviews. Yeah, I got the poets today. Siffel hired poets to come in and talk to us. Man, don't start about. The poets. These, listen, everyone. These, he likes any poetry. He has no taste. He doesn't even know what it is. Any poem he thinks is really good. So you're going to understand what I mean in a second. You yeah, like these guys, don't you? Oh, yeah, I like them. And okay, well, folks, anything, check hey, this out. No, if you knew anything about culture, you'd like them, too. They're All right, let's hear, let's hear your poem. Ode to a 67 Chevelle. It was a cold September morn that I found my love inside your horn. I wiped the dip from off my chin. Your engine roar enticed a grin. With Skinnerd on the eight-track blaring, in my lights a deer was staring. I swerved to miss that frightened buck. Smashed my car. Y'all, I'm f***ed. Dude, that wasn't even a poem, man. Get out of here. What are you talking about? Yeah, but that's, that's reality. Get out of here. All right, Dude, next. <clears throat> that was so real life. Dude, next. you're stupid. All right. Title, How She Was Like Plant Killer to Me. What? I bloom, I grow, I bloom, I grow. She kills, she kills, she kill, I die. I live, I bloom, I glow, she kill, I die. She kill, I die. That was incredible. That incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is... Oh, I die. die. Next. Home, 745. Breath of New Jersey, breathe the black gravy that is the milk of my kindergarten desk. Breathing, breathing, breathing is a drag, a drag on my smoke. I'm falling down the cracks, broke my mother's back. Back, back, back in town. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Oh, wow, that was the best one. Oh, those are so I can't believe that you buy that stuff. I can't believe you don't like that stuff. That was the, those are the worst poets I've ever heard in my life. No, how, how many poets have you heard in your life? Thousands. Yeah, sure. Man, that was real life. If you think that's real life, you need to get a new uh, real life, dude. Oh, and like, what can you tell Thanks, me? Thanks, folks. Yeah, what do you know about real life? Thanks, folks.
Hello, and welcome to almost the <laughs> end of the show. Show. <clears throat> so, hey, hey, I like those poets. Hey, you're wrong about that, buddy. <laughs> you know I like the poets, and the I know poet you're, you're going to start into me about the poets. The poets sucked. Don't start with, I hate that voice you use, that anteater a voice when you start anyone, telling me. Anyone, to, can be a, anyone can be a poet. Yeah, I know. Anyone can be a poet. You okay. know that. <clears throat> you so, know that. I know that. So do you want to be poets? Yes. Hey, all you hip cats and chicks out there in daddy o land. We're coming to you live from the Kerouac Mocha Cave Cafe. Sif. Ollie. Keep the rhythm. Keep the beat. Keep those crabs off the beach. And keep it cool, daddy o All you squares out there, take care with those crabs. Slow down. Speed up, speed up, slow down. Hush. You gotta keep it cool, cats. Bring it to the muffler guy. I don't know. I'm not that guy. $29 in the back of my blue, blue jeans. Loud, soft. Loud, soft. Picture, good. Now I'm near. Now I'm far. Be sure and watch this stuff on tomorrow's show. Do I get my lap dance now? Ah. Yeah, this is Eddie from Josie. <laughs> you guys are suckers. Yeah, Eddie, suck it to him, Eddie. <laughs> what? Hey, Siffle. Yeah? You're a rotten slouch back egg ass. Yeah, Eddie. You tell him, Eddie. You're... Yeah, you're an egg ass. <laughs> I'm Eddie. You uh, got no. in trouble. Yeah. Do you know that, that we can, can see you, right? Hey, I ain't Eddie. One, two, three, four, Siffle!